Hello, hello. Um, I see that some of you are here. A uh, long time no see. Hi. Um, well, yeah, I decided to make this um, pretty kind of sudden uh, live video. Um, just, just to mention, I won't see your comments right at the moment because well, uh, my phone is mounted on the uh, tripod, so you can see me and all this disaster happening in my studio. Now I'll try to show you what I'm working on. This is a huge mount of roses. I made all these boxes are packed now, and this and even that i hope you can see this oh yeah yeah all these boxes will be packed now so yeah um and here we go why did i say this will be a horror story um just well actually <laughs> this is one of the reasons why i'm doing this live video right at the moment because I am a paper florist with almost three years of experience um, knowing um, and being able to make almost everything now but I just ran uh, out of my um, hot glue sticks and I'm waiting for the courier who will I hope who will bring me some um, new ones uh, which will fit my my favorite glue gun so I have no glue sticks to finish all these uh, flowers today. Um, some of you maybe remember my uh, video and the post about glue guns and I showed many many times I, I told you about mine. This is pretty cheap one and um, well in comparison to maybe some professional ones and this one which I said I hate my Bosch glue gun which is cordless uh, and I gave up using it uh, now so I use this but this is a regular with the gun with a cord and it takes uh, long and well they, they may be long or short but they are obviously 11 millimeters thick I do not remember how much is it in inches but these are thick sticks so and I have no any left so I cannot finish this why do I love this gun is the main reason actually that this gun has a temperature control button well not button but uh, the feature um, and I, I can set the higher temperature uh, especially that's good for this especially for these cases when I work with designer papers they are metallic coated so um, I obviously need to use higher temperature melted glue uh, just to be sure that the glue, that sticks and does not come off uh, later which happens very often with with the regular cheap absolutely cheap two dollars uh, hot glue guns so nothing left for this guy i'm waiting and hoping he, this guy will come soon uh at least in half an hour or so so i have enough time till midnight to finish this because these uh beauties are going uh, to big track uh that's a huge delivery to um to the uh, to another state to melbourne um but what I did, because I need to stick, if you see, these roses, they are not uh, regular ones. Because uh, normally what I make, when I make uh, flowers, which my customers um, hang on the wall, or sometimes, just two types, they either hang it on the wall or they use them like freestanding flowers, you know, but then, two different types of backing for these flowers then but at the moment this is flat so uh, my current customer and this current order they wanted flowers to be standing on the floor in a small stand uh, on a 45 degrees angle so that's what I did and each flower has like 
this small stand behind the flower so I, I thought that I will at least use this time while I'm waiting for the courier with my glue sticks I will at least glue this um, triangle uh, shaped um, stands to the back of my flowers and I thought well at least the side of this triangle stand is uh, bored <laughs> this caused that problem uh, you probably so, so those of you who follow me on Sydney paper flowers as well you probably saw my yesterday accident so I cut pretty deep my, my thumb so uh, I've been cutting this um, uh, thick board um, so what actually I found you know sometimes problems and well obstacles they um, they bring us something really good so that happened to me today I found my very old really cheap two dollars uh, glue gun uh, I, I keep this like a spare one since that time when I found the, the one with a temperature control so I thought at least this is better than nothing because I have a big pack uh, of leftovers of my regular uh, thin glue sticks so I will at least try my old gun glue and stands to the back of the flowers and you know what I found surprisingly that this one works really not that bad um yeah <laughs> actually i had uh one glue stick stuck inside uh well lift over of the 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 big one the big stick and this was <laughs> there was gold glitter one because I, I i decided to try this uh glittery uh glue sticks I, I thought that they are awful and they do not work for the job I wanted to do well that was a while ago and now I I, I, I um, used in the new one the this transparent one but well a, anyway I needed to get rid of the one which was stuck inside so some of the roses are glued with glittery gold glittery um, <laughs> hot glue <laughs> I think the customer if they find it out well, while, while ripping uh, roses after their project they might be surprised what, what is this lady doing why is she using the glitter um, hot glue sticks so yeah but uh, obviously this um, little one did a really good job I glued all these stands using this two dollar thing the only um, really bad thing about this is, well, I'm not sure if the ca if camera can catch uh, this uh, smoke, which is um, going from the uh, tip of this hot glue gun. That's crazy smelly, absolutely bloody crazy smelly, and this smell, I, I bet you, that's really not healthy because um, I even can see this I, I can feel it and that's absolutely awful so that's a chemical thing um, which I don't think it's good to breathe in so that's one of the major reasons now which why I uh, want to come back to this little one because my mm, white one which I bought on eBay if you if you guys are interested I can repeat this uh, link for you so you can find this that's from China so they ship uh, worldwide so you can find it that's one of the best my purchases so um, no smell no smoke nothing just um, really well maybe not the uh, best nozzle because it is kind of medium uh, thick that's not the thinnest and not the uh, thickest but just medium and right right for um, for the projects for flower paper flower projects uh, this one still works but uh, smells a lot wait Philip that's still school holidays and kids are around so if you see Philip um, joining us <laughs> don't be surprised so what I do actually um, I made these um, triangles using just a 
regular board, uh, which the box is made of this board. And what I did, I covered it with the same papers flowers made of. Um, yeah, I'll cut this off. Oh, can you imagine? This guy is coming. The curry is coming. sticks so and I feel it is these are hot glasses there's nothing nothing um, different oh yay I'm safe now at least I can work during the day not only during the coming night uh, uh. I'm so done. these are glue sticks see Philip They, well, at, they are not uh, as long as I use because normally I use those uh, 30 centimeters ones and these are 20, but, but that's better than nothing, right? You know why? It is the horror story um, live video. Just because, the, the, actually the problem is I had a really good supply here in um, Australia who sells the, well, actually, <laughs> who now they do not do this anymore. Uh, so a good supplier with these uh, sticks. And that was really easy. They had a shop on uh, eBay. So that was like, I need a uh, new portion of hot glue sticks in let's say three, five days. Cause I see that I'm running out of my current, um, um, my current ones. So I just go to eBay, I order this and in three days, la la, I have hot glue sticks. This time, that was all the same. I thought, oh, um, just maybe 10 or 15 left. So yeah, we'll be fine for two, three days. I'm going to eBay and there's, th there is this seller, but there's no hot glue sticks anymore. They do not sell them. And no one in Australia sell this, my favorite long, long, long 30 centimeters hot glue sticks. So I thought, gosh, that's only US or uh, China. I ordered from China, but the uh, econom delivery is uh, 30 something to 40 days. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Yeah, I cannot wait. My customer cannot wait. That's the absolutely Russian urgent order. So um, yeah, my husband, I don't know how, but he found another one that was a bit more expensive. They are more, they are shorter, but well, that was a horror story because it, no glue, no flowers, you know, most of you are paper florists and you know how big this trouble might be if there's no glue. So, but now I'm safe. Um, let me show you anyway, um, how do I make these tins? Well, if as, as long as you're here, you can see, because I'll tell you, um, that's not my first uh, order from the customer who is in retail. So shops, when they need to decorate um, their shelves. Yeah, I, I will do this. He, he said, Philip says, why are not you drinking uh, your uh, shake? Because that's a heat wave in Sydney. That's 40 degrees. Um, and that's really hot. So we are drinking some ice cream shakes. Um, um, so yeah, uh, most of retailers, they want flowers not only uh, on the wall, not only freestanding on the floor. Sometimes they need to uh, put flowers on the shelves here and there. And this time that was a little bit of challenge because, well, I easily can make this kind of stand just using a thick board um, about, well, 
250 or 300 GSM um, that's easy and flowers can stay well almost upright but this time uh, the customer wanted 50 centimeters uh, roses and oh goodness that's actually why I'm waiting for these glue sticks 75 centimeters um, in diameter roses which I will I will make tonight uh, it is 30 inches for you to understand better uh, so uh, 20 and uh, 30 inches roses standing on the floor on some sort of stand so I thought that no any uh, designer board which is even 300 um, GSM they won't hold them because they're pretty um, they're pretty heavy so the only idea I got in my head was just to use the regular like like these boxes board just to cut because I have lots of leftovers um, I cut them into that thick um, uh, stripes and then I formed the triangle and well I do not this part won't be visible and this part will stand on the floor so I did not cover them and uh, the rest is covered with the same designer paper I used for roses so what I do I just put some glue onto this part and glue to the to the back of the flower and yeah I'll do this right now so you can see well this smelly smelly wow oopsie daisy that's actually why I do not like these glue guns and these glue sticks because um, when you need to to use really lots of glue you run well, it's running out and stops pretty quickly uh, focus on this yeah and then I hold this rose this way just here just not to so I hold the, the bud the center of the rose I do not push while it's laying on the floor because I'll damage the center uh, so yeah I hold it this way and I push with my other arm yeah my hand so yeah and I let it dry a little bit that's it and then I stick it here just make it not visible That's it. Um, yeah. So I, I hold for for a few seconds, for a few more seconds, just to make sure everything is safe. And here we go. You see, that's the rose on the stand, and now it can be displayed at. 45 degrees angle yeah and nothing is damaged colors. that's it so the outcome of this project is uh, yeah. as of now um, lots of stress because of this uh, hot glue sticks cut finger um, and I still waiting for the um, a logistic company tomorrow which is coming to pick up these flowers and deliver to Melbourne do you want do you still want to see my um, my another big friend which is I'll try to take the phone now so you can see better what I'm talking about this is my heat resistant mat because you see with this amount of flowers i cannot work in my um small studio with my desks uh well i cannot work on the desk because i cannot uh fit all these 50 roses inside so i work i glue these uh last details uh, here on the floor so just not to damage the floor and not to make the mess around what I use is my heat resistant gun. I have a uh, small video on our YouTube uh, t telling about this 
really great thing. You see what's this? These are just these are hot glue. Uh, you see how easy this comes off. So I just need to scratch it a little bit and everything comes off easy no damages for my wooden floor no damages for uh, my desk when i work at the uh, at the desk absolutely great thing i bought them from amazon i again i can share a link with you so you guys can um can use all the same and protect your working surface and this is another part of this horror story that's the glue gun i bought recently and i told you that i'll try it ridiculous that's absolutely absolutely waste of money um this is the packaging so you can see the name again i bought it on ebay i i wanted to get a new uh cordless glue gun so this works on uh four batteries aa they are hidden here it doesn't work at all look that's that's preheated now hello philip say hello to everyone hello and go and play yes later so what's happening you see i push i push and nothing even comes off i push really like crazy but this amount of glue which is coming out really doesn't work for me really doesn't work look i push oh just a tiny little bit so probably what what does it mean that probably it will be fine for those who need just a tiny little bit who work with small pieces who make small flowers i don't know i well really or maybe <laughs> who actually works much much um mm, slower than me because my speed is pretty fast and i need to push and get uh glue supply <laughs> always just non-stop this doesn't do this job even this two dollar guy you see well that's a waste but that's a comparison you see what's going on yeah that's the speed of um running glue i need well obviously i do not do this <laughs> I do not waste glue, you, you know, I'm crazy about uh, the waste of plastic, so I do not do this um, when I'm working, that just was, was well, not, not for fun, just to show you the, this comparison, but um, mm -mm. still uh, looking for a good one. If you have uh, tried anything and you found your uh, cordless glue gun, which works well, just please <laughs> share with me <laughs> i need this for some projects um when i'm starting uh, at the venue so that's it for for now for today uh, let me know if you like this let me know if some of these uh tips uh were um useful for you let me know if you want to if you want me to to do these kind of uh, live videos from time to time. Uh, let me know if you have any particular questions, you uh, particular topics you want me to talk about. Uh, just comment here or uh, send me a direct message. Uh, I'll come back to you. Um, I'll try to uh, do my best and save this live video. So for those of you who missed it, you will be able to see and uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. And bye bye. Have a good night or have a good day wherever you are. Yeah. See you.